All right, dog dog, let's go let him out. <laughs> you don't want to let the duck mafia out? Well, she's going straight for the chickens. Dog dog said y'all can just stay in there. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's getting ready to get cold. We're gonna have to put some the sides on the old chicken tractor. Yeah. Quack attack. Huh. That wasn't very forceful or exciting. What is it? You okay? Y'all have all turned your back on me. Now I gotta turn my back. They're doing what the, you told them to do, Butterball. You don't have to look around at me. Give me the side eye. Look at this. So this is their winter compound. We have some big feeders being built. There's a lady that does it not too far from here. Prices are fair and it helps somebody local that's trying to make ends meet and not get rich. So try to do that when we can. So we'll have a little video on those when we get them. What you got? So these have been these are original chickens that we got almost two years ago that's one of the new groups and she uh decided to move over here with them how are the little tweety birds doing one two three Your little baby's mom. Mama's. I know. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all alone for you. Yeah, so there's this group and this group, but they're in the same pen now during the winter. These are the ones we usually let free rain. And uh, food got scarce, so they started going in the neighbor's yard. So they put them back here for now. But they all know where to go at night. About time to clean your pen out in it. Yep. <laughs> Immediately the rooster looks for action. There's the other rooster. They live together pretty good. Sorry, dog dog, I left you in there, didn't I? Alright. See if you can get back out. Oh, hold on. This way. Come on. Go. I mean, can you at least let her eat something? <laughs> what are you gonna do, motherfucker? No, what are you gonna do? 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 You wanna get chased around? Yo, what you want? <laughs> You gotta open those boxes slow. Sometimes you'll find black snakes in them. 
Come on, dog dog. <clears throat> Some of this came up. It's time to go back in the house. Uh, time to take down Halloween decorations. If y'all didn't see our Murder on Wheelie Good Farm Halloween special, check it out. I'll put a link. It was uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Kids had a good time. Yep, Dog Dog and I are back out at the dock. Gonna see if we can finish putting in the carriage bolts by the end of the week so it's to start getting a lot of rain so we're trying to go ahead and move forward on getting this knocked out got to get it going Isn't that right what part are you going to do One good thing, a uh, usually good thing about living in the country is neighbors helping neighbors. So Josh and I, say hi Josh. Hello. You miss being on the channel? <sighs> he misses it. Anyway, uh, so my neighbor <clears throat> brought his tractor over and moved the generator for us. And now we're over here gonna move a picnic table. So seems like a fair exchange. Let's see if we can get it in the screen porch like he wants. Ta-da! So Duke won't come out here and run anything until everything's registered with the county that shows where everything's gonna go. And the surveyors can't get to us till February. This is November, beginning of November. So three and a half months roughly till they can get out here. And then it has to get recorded or approved and recorded. And then Duke's gotta get out here and run stuff. So I mean, we're talking what, April, May of next year. Some could go ahead and run some of my own stuff. It's not the end of the world. Uh, so we can start using the well. A lot of people ask, hey, what's going on with that? That's what's going on with it. It's either that, or I'm kind of weighing out the differences in cost. I can buy a solar kit and the uh, uh, solar pump and do it that way too. So weigh out the cost and figure out which way to go. Get that happening and uh, that's it. So Robert is coming back. Uh, you saw him when we were doing the pond deal. He works with Chris. He's coming back to dig some trenches for me because Chris is too busy. So we're gonna get some uh, all the trenches put in. That's why I've been planning everything out so we can get all that all that run at one time and uh, have the infrastructure in. At least the conduit, then we can run wiring whenever we need to. <clears throat> it's a lot. Adds up real quick. We're going to have around another 4,000 feet of conduit times two because we'll have a small conduit for any network stuff, low voltage stuff. So, yeah, so that's exciting. Had a few people ask me about the generator. 
So as you can see from the sticker, came from Greenfield Energy. They're down at the uh, coast here in Wilmington. Uh, they've done a ton of stuff for for years. Got, uh, they make a lot of their own stuff. So he's the one that got us the transfer switches in the very beginning. So we'd have those in place already. And then, so this deal just sits on a concrete pad. And there at the bottom, all this is, see it sits on top of the little diesel tanks. That's like, uh, kind of drawing a blank on what it is. It's like 250, 300 gallons. Uh, it's whatever Chris's truck will hold. <laughs> I get my fuel, so I've got to, so yes, yeah, so it just sits right on top of the diesel tank. And then you've got your plugs here. And so these umbilical cords run over there. So this is set up where you know, you can put it your forklift or you know, the forks on the tractor and move it anywhere we need on the farm. So I've got these temporarily here for when Ian was coming through. And we did lose power for a little bit. And if we were to decide to leave it sitting here and this is where it was gonna be, well, we have a couple options. If this is where it's always gonna be whenever it needs to run the house, uh, then we'll run conduit over to the boxes and then have a little stub up box here and we'll have the quick disconnect will be right into the box instead of across the ground. So that's what will happen. Uh, but there's some other stuff getting ready to happen. So we haven't decided 100% this is where it's gonna sit. Um, in fact, this may go into the back and run things back there. That's kind of an expensive way to run them with fuel cost. So you got this, that's the panel. Leave it in auto mode. There you go. If it runs uh, once every two weeks for about 10 minutes. Got a little tender, so when it runs, it charges the little battery. And uh, looks like I need to put a little bit of coolant in it, not much, for a little bit. And this pops open for the uh, air intake, the radiator. You got this side. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. And it runs everything, and you got your cutoff there. It runs everything. We had the uh, little power outage. Went up to the barn and did stuff. It ran the freezers. It ran the uh, everything in the house we were doing. No problems. It's kind of cool to have. It's good to, especially out here, you need it. And that right dog dog. All right, so things coming up in videos over the next uh, couple months will be uh, landscape people. They're coming. Uh, we're going to talk about get a really in-depth talk about uh, horticulture and not just planting around the house, but what we want to do with trees and uh, fruit trees and the whole deal. So that guy will be out. Uh, we've got someone that we've worked with for about 20 years that specializes in lightning protection. And he's gonna come out, do an in-depth dive on that stuff and what happens. Uh, we've got some solar guys coming. Uh, talk about that sus and uh, the lake management people probably come back by we got some stuff going on over there so uh, lots of stuff happening with all that stay tuned and I'll probably do an update on the house so people that are new to the channel this thing was rough A lot of people including Chris thought I was just gonna tear it down uh, we gutted it I mean there's there, if you go back to the early early videos uh, I mean it was a total gut job so I need to show you how you know update some people what happened with that do a walkthrough on that 
so lots to do appreciate everybody uh subscribing liking the videos and commenting and support the channel The guy making the gates came yesterday. <laughs> he was here all day to put in these two posts. And uh, he said it was the hardest dirt he's ever had to drill in, through in his life. He said, well, <laughs> that's because a whole lot of loads of 100,000 pound trucks of wood rolled out of here. So. Lots of concrete. So that's gonna hold up our gates. Did this one. So this one's getting done first. Then he's coming back and uh, he'll do the one at the house. So we're gonna start with this one. All right. <clears throat> so the storm system, maybe not the first one that's coming in tonight and tomorrow. I don't know how much it's gonna bring, but another one, uh, the one that's developing across the U.S. Uh, that's going to converge with something else that looks like it's going to really bring it. So I'm going to move the other camera. So we've got the one camera here that uh, we'll have set up on time lapse. And I'm going to move another one over in that area somewhere. Uh, the other one to catch the uh, head section and just see what, what happens down that way. So I'll probably put it on that tree over there facing this way. Uh, to kind of capture that stuff so he's going to start at night um i've been sent another couple of lights to test if i can get to that today uh i'll set one up in that area just put some more light on it or maybe over here but i'm gonna have this one running on time lapse anyway because it does uh have some night vision of course and maybe we'll pick up something so getting exciting uh finally get some uh, more water in the pond it looks like right, it's friday morning it rained pretty steady all night it hasn't been a crazy downpour or anything so i don't know how much we actually got but it is supposed to have thunderstorms later so we're going to let out the duck mafia and the chickens and then we're going to walk down and see what it's looking like what's up what are you complaining about? You're supposed to be uh, love water. <laughs> so this is probably the last little bit of warm weather we're going to get. So we'll pick a spot, move the duck house, and we'll put uh, hay bales inside so they'll have like a little path and then there'll be a spot blocked from the wind. But other than that, they don't mind cold. Last year, I was all stressed about the cold for them when it got down. It doesn't get ridiculously cold here usually. Uh, a couple years ago, or probably about three years now, we did have a cold spell where pipes were freezing. You know, it got pretty bad. But usually, 
Yeah, you got some overnight in the 20s here. You know, that's considered cold for us. I was stressed about them and everything. Let them out. They go jump in the pool and dunk and everything into the freezing water. They don't care. So I was trying to keep, keep wind off of them. Let my horse jump the fence here. You ready? <laughs> be glad when our feed barrels get here and be on the 15th. Yeah, good morning. Hey. Oh. All right, well, no treats for you then. How about that? I don't know what's wrong with this cockadoo either. How are the babies? causing trouble already whoa 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 get your butt back in there uh-uh you come out here you're gonna die 100 <laughs> percent yeah tell you mama you gotta take care of them I said it rained pretty steady most of the night just had some lulls like this need to bring the boat down here <clears throat> go out there and see what the depth is on the set of gauge or a stick should have done before water started we got decently far on the dock <laughs> see it's probably got to come up another two feet before it hits the dock anyway so I think we're good. A little walkway in is not going to be too steep. All right, time to give our offering to the Duck Mafia. crazy about that.